Welcome to BBC News. What do you want, love? I'm trying to record a YouTube video. Voila. I'm not on, I just called you for vibes. Oh, I'm recording a YouTube video. Life after uni, you know? Yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh, if you watch the video, then you'll find out what I say in it. Okay? I'm dead. Calm. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Why do people love distracting me when I just want to record my videos? I don't get it. Anyway, guys, let's get straight into the video. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Today's video, what I'm going to be doing is, you know, giving you a little life update after university. Because, you know, like a couple of people have been asking me certain questions. So I thought, why not do a Q&A and give you a life update in the same video? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um... I finished uni in May. It is now September. I graduate in let me get the exact dates up. Um once I graduate in two weeks. Oh my god. Excited. Um yeah, so I graduate in two weeks. Um that's the story about the Mori. So I'm currently coaching for free clubs. Um, Mosley Hill, Liverpool Feds. Yes, I know. I know. I coach for rival teams. I know. I have been told this. Um, in all fairness, I did not know they were rivals, to be fair. So, that's got nothing to do with me. I'm just here for experience and vibes. That's it. Um, and yeah, and I coach with Never Too Late. So, that's basically where I'm at in life right now. Alhamdulillah, you know. Um, we came a long way. We had no coaching opportunities for three years. We were, you know, getting played about, you know. Loads of unserious people, left, right, centre. But, you know, we good now, we good now. So, basically, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, and hopefully... I've applied for a full-time coaching role with Liverpool as well so hopefully you know they get back to me very soon <laughs> hopefully but yeah inshallah um so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be answering a few questions because I put up on my Instagram my coaching page it's coach underscore h ali if you haven't followed it go follow it um I just put up um, little question thing and I said any questions about my football coaching degree or studying at UCFB and you know I got a fair amount of you know questions so we'll go through them um one by one there's already one that I answered on my story so I'll put it here what I put you know um so I'm gonna go on to the rest now so um the first question was what's it like studying football I've been studying it for like what three four five six six years I've been doing like stuff to do with football so you know I enjoy it do you know what I mean like it's like I'm learning my hobby do you know what I mean I'm gaining knowledge on my hobby which is you know it's nice it's fun you know do you do a lot of coaching whilst at uni so while while I was at uni I didn't really do much coaching like I said we had very unserious people that wasn't trying to, you know, see me win. But, you know, they're in the past now. But I think in order to be doing a football degree, you've got to be coaching alongside it. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Do you know what I mean? So if there's something that you want to take away from this, make sure you start coaching before you go on to do a coaching degree. Yeah. So someone said, what is the support like? Um, do you know what the support was decent like whenever i wanted my cv doing or whatnot like they were like they were like helpful and stuff but at the same time like they want you to figure your own shit out for yourself like even when it came to like looking for clubs and that like they'd give me the club but they'll be like okay you go now do your own thing with it do you know what i mean like they'll give it to you but you gotta do the rest you know um so someone said is it an easy course um yeah like do you know what looking back at it like i don't know i just don't like education in it so like it was kind of tough for me you know but like looking back at it now if i put the hard work in and that like it would be easy do you know what i mean so as long as you put in the hard work and whatever like it'll, you'll fly by do you know what i mean it'll be 
calm but at the same time obviously uni isn't built to be easy do you know what i mean it's going to obviously be difficult but we just got to get through it you know someone said did you face any difficulties at ucfb um not really no there was nothing that there was nah nah like it was just i just turned up gone to my lectures and went home do you know what i mean my lecturers gave me advice when i needed advice like nah someone said do you wish you took another route rather than going to ucfb and i'd say mm, not really no like i knew what i wanted to do and stuff so it's like if it's gonna help me like go to the next stage in my coaching journey then of course like why not do you know what i mean but at the same time was my degree needed no is it helpful maybe yeah but is it needed nah like i could have just gone on to do my coaching badges do you know what i mean like i don't know look like i said in my last video if you haven't watched it you know i'll link it down in the description go watch it i just feel like i could have just done my coaching badges and been at the same place as i am now does that make sense like going to uni and getting a degree in coaching is just a tad bit more knowledge you know but i guess like when people look at my like cv now and whatnot they'll be like oh she's got a coaching degree we'll have it do you know what i mean i don't know it's a win-win situation i guess someone said what is the environment at ucfb like it's nice like everybody gets on do you know what i mean did I see anybody from other years? No, I really didn't. And the only time I did was when I was playing football with girls in the team. And they obviously were from like different years. But I never really mingled with anybody from other years because I never had face-to-face -face contact with them. Do you know what I mean? Because that's nothing. We were never based in the Etihad Stadium. I think I was, I've was. i only ever been to the Etihad Stadium like a good 10 times. Do you know what I mean? Like that whole time I've been in UCFB. When you've been there like 10 times and that's another thing like when you do do a football coaching degree at ucfb you're never going to be based in the etihad like it's going to be very rare because we were at bellevue and that's where we were based majority of the time because that's what pitches and facilities we use do you know what i mean so it made sense for all the like football coaching talent development all them lot to be there so that they could use the facilities because obviously you can't use the etihad pitches you know because they'll be like bigger next question is what made you choose ucfb um i think i've already answered this but it just made sense because i was already at a football college so i thought i might as well go to football uni do you know what i mean it makes sense um, and i thought i'm probably going to get more opportunities going to a football university rather than going to a normal university because i did apply for like edge hill john moore's or their man and you know they offered football coaching as well sports coaching but i don't know i just thought i'll get more opportunities from you know a football specialized university how did i find ucfb i think i was just googling like football coaching and um, degrees blah 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 and this one uni kept popping up ucfb 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 and then i literally had like a week left not even a week i think like a couple of days left until like handing in my personal statement or whatever it's called just like clueless so i put edge hill john moore's down and hope i think and then i didn't know what to do for the fifth one so i just put ucfb down and um, i was like oh if i get it i get it ended up getting an unconditional offer i know i know <laughs> and then um, basically yeah i just thought let me just go if i've got an unconditional offer i might as well go so someone said favorite memory from your time at ucfb and i think it would be playing football with the girls i think i enjoyed that a lot <laughs> if anybody watches this that i used to play with they'll probably be like huh well i actually did i really did um might have not attended the sessions because i had to be awake at like six o'clock to get ready by seven to leave by eight to get money by nine like nah it was a headache do you know what i mean so i never really used to attend the football training sessions but i actually enjoyed them they were my that was my favorite part about the whole uni experience playing football with them would you go on to do a master's at ucfb no i wouldn't i really wouldn't nah i don't think i would like it just nah <laughs> i was considering going back to uni to go to john moore's to you know do a master's in management but mm, i think that uni ain't for me uni life is not for me assignments is not for me 
using my brain is not for me giving me a headache you know um but yeah no i wouldn't do a masters in ucfb a degree i'd probably do a ucfb but i think masters no 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 i'd go to a normal uni but um yeah i think if you've done like a um degree in football like something like football coaching and management like i think it'd be good to go to you know maybe another university and do a totally different like subject just so that you have to you know industries that you can fall under do you know what i mean i think that'd be a really good advice for anybody that maybe is thinking about going to you know to do a masters in ucfb and wants to stick within the football industry i don't know do it if you want to but i don't know personal advice would be hmm, have two different you know two different industries that you could go into um, so someone said, is it hard to get jobs within the football industry after graduating? Um, do you know what? For me, yeah, it was really hard to get coaching opportunities for three years. So of course, it's going to be hard for me to get a job after uni. And one thing I've realised with coaching is it's more of like a hobby thing. Like it's not even like a full-time job thing. Like it's a little side hustle. Do you know what I mean? Like think like with coaching it's one of them ones where it's like it's like you've got to you know get through the years of just volunteering 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 and you know later down the line paid opportunities will come do you know what I mean so I think that's the way I just look at it now it's just like stick it out for how many years that I need to stick it out for you know do all the volunteer years that I need to do and one day sooner or later i'll get paid roles do you know what i mean and another thing is advice for anybody that is struggling to find opportunity if you're doing coaching like me and you're you're looking for coaching opportunities and nobody's giving you the opportunities start your own team do you know what i mean who says you can't start your own team i'm looking to start my own team do you know what i mean i don't want to talk too tough about it now because i don't know if it's actually going to happen but start somewhere do you know what I mean and even with me like I don't really know what I'm doing but at the same time if if I don't start it then I'll never know what I'm doing I think for three years like I was too shocked to start my own team and you know get people together and you know all that shebang but now I'm just like just do it whoever tears up tears up and whoever doesn't doesn't do you know what I mean like so I think um always think outside the box and just do everything you can do you know what I mean and you know oh my god network you have to network like you don't know who you're talking to you never know who you're talking to and tom over there could literally help you get a job with bill over there do you know what i mean so that's why i'd say network networking is really really good networking is something i didn't really do whilst i was at uni i can't lie like even though i'm very social and stuff like i had don't know how to talk to people like i don't know how to keep connections with people like i really don't i really really don't so yeah that's one thing i also need to even work on now but yeah never stop never stop networking because you're gonna need that for the rest of your career you know so yeah um i think i've mentioned everything also work hard and um, believe in yourself and don't give up I gave up a lot of times and you know and do you know what I just feel like they were necessary like they were necessary like it needed to happen because now like I know exactly what I'm doing and like nobody like if I like don't get like any support and whatnot like I'm not hurt about it anymore do you know what I mean because for three years like I didn't have anyone trying to push me to you know do this coaching thing even people that i went to they weren't even asked do you know what i mean so now just me myself and i you know so have you yourself and i too and you'll make it don't know why i think i'm a motivational speaker because i'm not there anyway i'm actually waffling now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna end the video here and i will see you in the next video bye